guys, welcome to another episode of Makeup With Elle. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jahida. Today we are doing this awesome orange pumpkin spice smoky eye look. In this video, I'm gonna be using all of my fall and current favorite products. I have currently been so in love with the smoky eye, so I've been trying it in a ton of different colors, and I wanted to share one with you guys. In this video, I am using two of my favorite palettes that work super well together, and it's the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. It is the first palette in her line. And I'm also using the Huda Beauty Coral Obsession Palette. I just feel like these palettes work super well together to make this awesome look. For today's ears, I'm wearing these awesome animal print mini ears. And we recently got them on a vacation to Walt Disney World in the Animal Kingdom Park. During our experience there, we went to the Tusker House restaurant and we had some quality one-on-one -on -one time with Donald and Daisy. Donald and Daisy even made me and Eric dance together. It was just such an awesome, amazing trip, and I'll be sharing all of the years that I got with you in more videos to come. If you wanna see how I got this look, just continue watching. I already went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. Um, I just kinda did the outline and I'll fix them a little bit later in the video, just because I don't wanna bore you with my eyebrows. But we are gonna go ahead and set our eyes with the new concealer that I'm really vibing with. It is called the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. What intrigued me about this concealer was that it said it was cakeless, so I felt like it was, should have been lightweight and stuff. But if I'm being 100% honest, it's because it looks like a pencil. I'm super excited to just like pick this up and try it. But I actually really do love it, so I'm going to set my eyes. Just put a tiny bit. For this look, I'm actually gonna be using two different palettes. And the first palette is the Latte palette. The second palette that we're gonna be using is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsession. I just think that the orange in both of these palettes are gonna really gonna make a really nice smoky eye. So we're gonna be dabbing into both of them. We're gonna start with the vanilla cream color on the Latte. Basically, I'm just gonna dab it into this and set my eyes with it. I'm going to tap that all over my lid. And what I want it to do is actually take some of the discoloration away from my eye and make a nice, even canvas. So I am tapping that in, and then at the very end, I'm just kind of smoothing it completely over my eye. Once that concealer is set, I'm going to move on into my first transition shade, and it is the shade Caramel, also in the Dominique Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to place that right above my crease. I'm doing large windshield wiper motions right above that crease. And so gradually I'm gonna build up to the nice smoky orange color that I want to be on my eye. So I'm just placing this down first. I've talked very highly of this palette before, but it's just such creamy, beautiful colors in it. And they just blend out so perfectly. This shade is very similar to my skin tone color. So you can't really see it too much, too highlighted on my face, but it's a great transition shade. Next, I'm moving to my second transition shade, which is not too crazy darker than the first one. It's the middle shade here in the Huda Beauty palette. So just a couple notches darker than the caramel color. Using the same brush, I'm just gonna put that right over the caramel color. I'm not going higher on my lid, I'm just kinda keeping that right above my crease. Next, I'm going to take another fluffy brush, but notice that the second fluffy brush, this white one here, is actually a lot smaller than the first one that I used. I wanna actually put the orange color in a smaller surface area, so I'm using a smaller brush. I'm going to tap into this orange shade right in here. Just placing a little bit on my brush and tapping off the excess. And so this color is going to be placed right underneath, basically right in my crease. So I still want to see those two transition shades at the very top, but I'm going to place this right in my crease to start turning that caramelish color down to orange. I'm not placing it directly on my eyelid, just kind of right in that crease area. Because I'm doing a smoky eye, it's a lot easier. You don't have to like crazy blend everything in together. What's most important is the to blend towards the top of the eye versus kind of what's in the middle. 
everything's important, but what's most important? I start off with just a little bit of pigment and build it up because I want to make sure that I have a color that I want exactly and not just like some dark color that's hard to get rid of. So I'm just kind of lightly tapping back into my color. Moving on, we are going to deepen the shade using Pumpkin Spice, what is totally fitting color name. And it's this orange color in the latte palette right away. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be jumping between the two palettes just because I feel like they look so great together. And I'm going to place that again right in my crease. It's okay in this tutorial if you're following it to actually get the orange on the lid because we're just going to place a darker color over it. So if you do that and you happen to get orange all over your lid, it is totally fine. Next what I'm going to do is going back into my original transition shade, that's that caramel color in the latte palette. I'm going to take my original huge fluffy brush and I'm just going to go right on the top. I want to add color to the top of my lid, but I don't want it to be too crazy. So it's going to be a nice light color just so it doesn't look like there's a shade and then there's nothing. And I want that pretty caramel to show. I'm going to take that shade as well and I'm just going to blend that pumpkin spice color in with the caramel color so that it's a nice pretty blend. When in doubt, you want to blend a hundred times over. So if I say blend too much in my videos, it's because I feel like when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'm like literally blending forever. Alrighty. Next, we're going to take a smaller, more compact brush. I'm going to use the Packer brush from the Dominique Cosmetics brand. And I am going to take the color Mocha in my palette. And I'm going to place that all over my lid. I have hooded eyes. So I'm basically going to place it right up until the point where my eyes open and you can't see that color anymore. I don't want to take this too high up on my eye because it's going to look like a brown mess and basically I'll look like a raccoon. But I'm just going to take that and pack that right onto my lid. The name of this brush is so fitting. Alrighty, now that we have that brown color on the lid, we're going to dip back into Pumpkin Spice and the shade in the Huda Beauty palette. And we're going to blend the very top of it. So deepening the orange, but also blending the very top of that brown. Essentially, we want that brown to be very gradient into the eye. So if we don't do this step or if we skip this step, it's going to look like a little brown horizon and then orange, like directly after it. So we want that to be just as blended as the very top of the eye. I like my left eye is a little bit lighter than my right eye, so I'm going to pack some more of this brown color onto it. Once I'm okay with how much color is on my eye, I'm not going to place any more onto my brush. I'm just going to keep using that same brush and blend out. If you don't have the color payoff that you want, you can just take your finger and pat in some more of that darker shade. Like, I don't want this to be too dark, but I do want it to be a little bit more brown. Moving on, I am going to use the eyeliner that I got in a BoxyCharm from Hank and Henry. It is in the shade Blinkity Black. Kind of like it. Um, even though the lid is kind of like a brownish color, it's still black, but I really, really love this eyeliner. Like this is an item that I'll probably buy after it's gone, you know what I mean? Like it'll be a rebuy item. Now normally with a smoky eye, I don't do too much of eyeliner, but I am going to put lashes on for this video, which I'm super excited about. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do a full wing. I'm going to use the BFF ColourPop Mascara, and because it is so used and abused, I'm not going to show you this on camera, but I have used it. I have. I do love it. This video is not sponsored by ColourPop, but I literally love this mascara. So I'm just going to place that in a thin layer on my top lashes. <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna work on the bottom of my face just yet or my eyes just yet because I want to go ahead and move on to foundation. What I'm gonna use first, because I have really dark under eye circles lately, just means that I need to sleep more, is I am gonna use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I talked about this during my very first YouTube video and it's still one of my favorites. At this point, it's pretty deep. Like I've used it so much that it's pretty deep so I can't just stick my finger in it. So I'm gonna have to use a brush. And I am just going to place this very lightly underneath my eyes. So I placed it with a brush first and now I'm going to take my nice clean fingers and I'm going to tap that in. Basically, I don't want it to look super cakey underneath my eyelid. So the warmth of my finger is just kind of melting that into like the crease under my eye and it's making it nice and even. And I'm just gonna bring that all the way down so that it's a nice even coat down my face. Notice that this is before I put on primer and before I put on foundation. So we are going to move into the primer. I am going to use one of my all time favorite. It's like a less expensive product. It is the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. It is a current favorite because it literally fills in all my pores. And I'm just going to tap that into the middle of my face. Right on my nose, because I get a lot of pores right on my nose. And this is going right above that corrector, right? So I don't have to like avoid it at all costs. Because I'm doing a tapping motion and not a swiping motion, I'm not taking any of that product that I originally put there off. I'm just tapping everything in for good measure. I'm gonna take this little sponge that I use for my concealer and do the same thing. The warmth of your fingers will blend it in perfectly. And then this little sponge will actually like make sure there's nothing kind of like sticking out, making sure everything is like matted down. Moving on to foundation, because I know I'm looking really crazy right now, I have my fave right now, the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Nude. And lately what I've been doing is taking this foundation and placing it on my face. Now I'm not placing a large amount on my face. Basically I'm just making very thin lines of just a little bit of product all over my face. I place these thin lines on my face because I want the product to warm up on my face and essentially giving it just a tiny bit of time to kind of become the same temperature as my skin tone. That helps it to blend out a lot easier. It just blends perfectly into my skin. And so I will put in this layer here and if I feel like I need a little bit more coverage for the day or for the look that I'm doing, I will put a couple more lines onto my face. Usually, anything that I feel like it's not fully covered, I'll use concealer to cover it. Next, we're gonna use the same concealer that we originally used to set my eyes. And I'm just going to place that in all the usual places. So, a bunch underneath my eye to cover that corrector and I put some right down the center of my nose right above my lip but not too much on my chin and then I'm going to cover any weird spots that I feel like need covered like some of my birthmarks that are poking through some pimples things like that and then using the smaller end of my beauty blender I'm going to tap that in very slowly and very lightly. And so any coverage that I didn't get from my foundation or anything that I feel like I didn't cover fully, I'm gonna wanna make sure I put some concealer there. I absolutely love this concealer so much because it is very close to my skin tone. It's not too bright, so I pick a great shade. But also it just like, as a perfect amount of coverage. Using the very tip of the Beauty Blender, you wanna make sure that the concealer is right up against the edge of your eyeliner, if you do eyeliner first. Moving on, I am going to clean up my eyebrows 
because I did put foundation over certain parts of it. So currently I'm using the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I'm going to reinforce what I drew originally, kind of taking that line and just evening it out. And then the same thing on the three points. Just reinforcing the top and the bottom lines. I feel like my eyebrows have progressed to be like thicker and thicker lately, so I kind of love it. The last thing I'm going to do is place a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand and taking a very small, pretty precise brush, I am going to reinforce the line at the very top. Because the concealer is very similar to my foundation color and my skin color, this is actually a pretty good shade match and it's not gonna look like my concealer starts here my foundation starts somewhere but if yours does if you have a concealer that's a lot brighter basically you could take the foundation that's left over on your beauty blender and blend it out I'm also gonna take what's left on that product of that product and brush it right into the inner corner of my eye just to kind of shape the look of that eyeshadow. Taking a thinner brush, this is from Elf Cosmetics, yes, Elf Cosmetics. I am going to place the color Pumpkin Spice on the bottom of my lid. Now I'm doing this before I set anything, before I put any powder underneath my eye. Essentially, I want that color to blend in with my eye. I'm doing this now before I set my eye so that that color can really stick there. If I put powder over it and then do the color, the color has more of a probability to fall off of the eye. So I'm just gonna place that now while it's nice and tacky. I'm going to place the color Mocha right in the center. right in the middle of where I put the pumpkin spice color. That way the eye look kind of ties in together. Moving right along, I am going to set under my eyes using the Kylie Cosmetics Soft Pink Setting. I placed a little bit in the lid here and using the smaller blender that I had, that purple one, I am going to strategically place it underneath my eye. I love this powder and I love the shade because it is nice and brightening under the eye, but it really does set really, really well. It's a current fade as well. I also absolutely need to set right in my chin area because my chin is shaped weird and it kind of goes in. If I don't set my chin, there's going to be like this crease of makeup and so it just kind of happens. And then because I talk too much and smile too much, I have these lines right next to my lips, which I like to set as well. But as far as like setting my forehead or setting my nose, I don't have to because I'm not like an oily person. So these are the only places that I'm gonna set today. Next, we're gonna use my favorite bronzer of the moment. It is the Too Faced Bronze Peach. I've used this bronzer so much, it kind of just falls out of the packaging. So basically, I'm just going to bronze all of those areas of my face that I like to kind of be shadowed or hidden. So I'm going to chisel out my jawline and my cheekbone, or my cheekbone and my jawline. And then I'm going to put some red up above my eyebrow. I just really like this part to be a little bit darker, I don't know why. And then underneath that chin, it is fall, so there is no more beach body, you know? like. We could eat all the cake if we want to. So bronzer is gonna come in handy for me. And then I'm going to take the brush, I'm gonna dip it in and then pinch it so that I get right on the side of my nose. I love, love this bronzer because it's very light. So it's like not crazy dark on the skin, but it's noticeable. So you can actually see that it's placed on there. Next, I like to take my favorite bronze powder because that one was more cream. This is more powder to kind of set that in place. It is the Kylie Cosmetics 
pressed bronze powder in the color toasty. I hear the word toasty and I think of fall slash winter because that's when you say the word toasty the most, I guess. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of that everywhere that I just bronzed my face. I am still pretty tan from the summer, so I don't want too much of this. I really just want this to bring definition to my face. Notice that I keep going back down to my chin. So I'm trying to hide that. And in pictures, when you bronze your double chin, let's be real here, um, it doesn't show as much. So I have been catfishing some of you. I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush, make sure there's nothing on it, and I'm going to wipe off all of that powder. Notice that once I wipe off that powder, I'm doing it very, very lightly, or maybe you can't notice it, but I'm wiping it off very, very lightly, making sure nothing is kind of sticking and staying behind. And you should notice that it is nice and bright underneath my eyes and very, very matte. And that is kind of what I was going for. Notice that the orange eyeshadow or the pumpkin spice eyeshadow stayed right underneath my eye, so that didn't budge or move. Essentially, we were setting that concealer with that eyeshadow. I have tried a lot of different blushes kind of on my channel, but the one that I keep going back to, and one that I've shown you guys a ton of times, is the shade Party with a couple extra A's. And this shade is a nice deep shade, which I absolutely love. It's like a deeper red. I'm not very into like the bright pink blushes and I don't think that would look well with this look in particular, but I'm going to place that on my cheeks and I like to bring my blush all the way to the front of my face and tap backwards. All over my face, blush is my absolute favorite so it goes everywhere. And then I'm going to take my blender and I'm not going to place anything else on it, but I'm just going to tap everything I just put on my face into my face. This will help for those powders to kind of sit in place. It will also make sure that nothing is very sharp. You get a nice even look when you do this last step. Lately I've actually been kind of going out of the typical order when I am doing my makeup because I tend to put eyeliner on and then put lipstick on and then spray my face and so what ends up happening is my eyeliner tends to run my lip gloss or lipstick kind of gets all over the place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my face using this Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. And I know my face is completely matte right now, but it allows for a little bit of that moisture to come back into my face so I don't look like a complete matted person. Um, so I'm going to use this setting spray. I do like to see where I'm spraying this. The application for this is like kind of weird. It doesn't like spray out very far. So I like to use a mirror and then watch myself spray my face. Only for this setting spray though. I love the spray, I just don't love the little nozzle on it, if that makes sense. My fave highlighter of the moment, and it's been my favorite highlighter since May, is the Prisma Glow from Dominique Cosmetics. I've also showed this on my channel before. But I'm going to take the shade Fire Glow. This is a red one right in here. And I like it because it kind of takes form of a blush almost and kind of like blends into that blush color that I typically use. And I'm going to place that in some of the obvious areas. I am then going to take the same color with a very small brush and I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eye. I am next going to use my current favorite duo and they are both ColourPop and I'm going to use the lip liner in the shade BFF3. It's like this brown lip liner. I lost the lid for it. And then I'm going to use a lip gloss that has flecks of like orange, silver, like glitter in it and it's called Tight Fit. I'm going to line my lips with the brown liner. Lining my lips are still a work in progress, as you can probably tell already. It's okay because I'm going to place the lip gloss over it. I'm going to draw right in the center of my lip and then on the outer edges. I really like that ombre kind of look. 
I'm then gonna take the lip gloss, and it looks like I filled in a majority of my lip, and I'm just gonna lace it right over. I'm using my finger to blend the two shades in together, just so it looks like it's meant to kind of be together. And there's no area where there's more of one shade than the other. After I had just enough of that lip gloss on, I'm going to fix any of the edges that I have with that lip liner. So if there's anything that's like not even or protruding or anything like that, I'm just going to fill it in with the lip liner. Doing that step also allows for the lip gloss to kind of stay in one place. It doesn't let the lip gloss kind of glide right off of the lips. I've never really had that issue with ColourPop lip glosses before, but I just like to make sure. So, last but not least, and I'm going to do this off camera because I am absolutely terrified. I am going to go ahead and put on my lashes and I'll be right back. So here it is. Here is the final look. It is literally all the fall vibes. I'm ready to go pick a pumpkin and just have like pumpkin spice lattes and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, it is quite a lot of orange, but honestly, this is the look I've kind of been doing when I go out more recently. I literally just love this palette and the Huda Beauty palette kind of together. These lashes, let's talk about the lashes. So I have just recently purchased Lily Lashes for the very first time. These are in the style Always and Forever, and I just literally love how like big and bold they are. I did, however, go from having no lashes on 90% of the time to putting on some really bold lashes, so we'll see how we kind of adjust to them, but I do love them. I love, love, love the way that this look turned out. I feel like it's something that I could wear more often. I feel like it was kind of a faster, easier eye look to do, because usually what takes me the longest is my eyes. But what do you guys think? Currently, I'm drinking all of the salted caramel mocha drinks that I can possibly ever get my hands on and so comment down below what's your favorite fall drink i really really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video if you like this video and you want to see more like it subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button i love you guys so so much bye